first thing we're gonna do is install the system. We're gonna install the antennas. We can either glue or bolt or weld them. We suggest welding, but the, since this is a demo system, we have uh, bo bolted them on so that they are not permanently mounted. So two GNSSs, both mounted on the back of the machine where the counterweight is. Cables we run through inside here, like, like so. On both sides, we find a way for the cables so that they are inside the machine. With the cables, we come down through into the engine bay and uh, go under the machine. It depends on the machine where you can route them, but uh, here in this machine, we have gone through the engine bay and into the gap. Then you must do the power wiring for the plus and minus, either onto the battery or onto the main switch. Next, you have to do the sensors. First sensor is the body sensor, and we have put the body sensor down under the boom. And I show you, it needs to be directed so that the, the female head faces forward. I have disconnected this for demonstration purposes only. And obviously it needs to be connected in order to work and uh, the cables can run up to the boom. So next one up, we have the boom sensor, which goes on to the boom. We, we try to kind of uh, level it with the boom from axis to axis, more or less, because we will be calibrating it anyway. Then on to the stick sensor, which goes on to the stick. The same way, we try to align it so it will be more or less aligned from joint to joint. Then on to the dog bone sensor, which we put on the dog bone. And same way here, try to more or less align it, but not to worry too much, we will calibrate them anyway. And then on to the bucket sensor, which here we have routed the cable through the hydraulics and inside, inside the bucket here, you can see. And this one is the last one, so it is the 101 sensor, which, which has only one port, and this terminates the sensor line. Inside the cab, we mount uh, the tablet. Tablet uh, here is mounted on the window. Usually we use either glue or screws or, or a suction cup mount. But uh, since this is a demo system, it is mounted least in intrusively we can do it. So you can see the cable harness. You have power line coming through here. And then you have GNSS here and also the antenna for 4G and, uh, and the main port back there that needs to be attached. Also on the bottom wire harness we have attached the sensor line to the CAN connector. Also you need to install the SIM card right here. You need to un unscrew those two and then insert the SIM card inside. So when you have connected everything correctly, you can start by turning on the system from the power button. This will take a minute to start. When you have successfully booted up the system, first thing you're gonna do is uh, set up the sensors. So you're gonna do this by going into machine management and sensor ID. Then you're gonna look at all the sensors you just installed and put the corresponding numbers to corresponding positions. Next thing you have to do is measure the machine dimensions and input them into the machine management. And here. So you start by measuring the machine. You first have to measure in the, the boom and the stick according to the drawing here. Try to be as precise as possible. You can use either measuring tape or you can use the total station to do that. One thing to note is height. You can measure with uh, an ordinary measuring tape and uh, the precision doesn't need to be that high. 
also if you have machine drawings where you can get the joint to joint measurements you can input them according to these drawings next up is the dog bone uh, connect rods measurement this is easiest done with the measuring tape position of the GNSS antennas in order to do that go into the machine management body measure and calibrate antenna location and here you can see the values this is best done with the GNSS device so that you measure in each position of the antenna measure in the axis of the of the boom and then the center of the bucket and then draw it out in either CAD program or ask for help from us machine management mechanism measure and then go bucket set for the bucket set you can choose your bucket or create here up here and then you are greeted with this kind of screen where you have to measure it according to the drawing input the values and click save for tilt bucket you need to create new bucket here choose tilt choose which sensor you're using then fill in those values according to the diagram to put the roll and pitch into zero using a level and then click calibrate when you are done with all the measuring then you can start by calibrating the machine in order to calibrate the machine you have to go up into the menu machine management sensor now click next boom sensor calibrate you need to put the boom into level position check it with the total station and then once you are happy with the results you see from the total station you click calibrate next one to do is the stick sensor which you need to align like shown here and then also you check with the total station and once you are happy what you see from the total station you click calibrate same goes for the connect rods according to the diagram in order to check that you have gotten the dog bone measurements correctly here is a process you open the bucket fully measure the distance that is shown on the diagram then put it into the middle position roughly then measure the distance and then close it fully and also measure the distance shown on the diagram you will start to see residuals here the system will inform you if if everything is correct and you will pass the process and the last thing to do in the mechanism menu is to go into bucket check you will align the stick joint and the bucket tip according to the diagram and click check it needs to be within those tolerances here before you do the body calibration you will have to choose the coordinate system by uh, to choose the coordinate system you can click on the icon up here and then you can use file import to import your local coordinate system from the file system here as you can see i have already entered my coordinate system i can choose to edit this one but in order to edit i have to make it non-active by clicking cancel i have to go back now click on it click edit and now i can use my geoid file by selecting height fitting and use my geoid file here in order to import one i will click on import and i can choose from from my file system once i'm happy with everything i can click save and now i can apply my coordinate system as you can see it is now applied in order to set up your rtk network you will have to click on the satellite icon here you see the values from your antennas and you can click on rtk configuration you will select new core space station entering the name which you can choose yourself your local server address port you can download the source list and choose your mount point here 
you will enter username and password. Once you are happy, you will click save. After you have saved your RTK configuration, you can select it, click apply, and then you have your RTK network set up. As you can see, I have now fixed. Body measure and calibrate. First, go under sensor. Do as instructed on the screen. Click start, then turn 180 degrees and the system will guide you through it. Then click next. But you always have to use left pocket tip here. You will collect five pairs of measurements. One with the machine and one with the rover next to the left pocket tip. And then move machine and repeat this process five times. So for the first pair you would always select left pocket tip. You would click collect and the machine will collect the data. Insert the value that you me measure with the rover from the left pocket tip and it's advisable to use a rover with a tilt sensor so that it is easier to measure the tip. So then you would enter a value here that you just measured with a rover and then let's say it was 223 or similar and then you would add your first pair here. Then you would move a machine and repeat this process repeating it five times after you're done you press calibrate so once you are done with the elevation calibration you go into the heading calibrate for in order this to work you have to align the machine on a north south axis the machine will guide you on how to do this here is a value that you will see at the moment I have aligned the machine to north-south axis. You must do this within the precision of one centimeter. As you can see, I have aligned the machine so that it is on a north axis. Then you will curl up the machine, curl up the boom and bucket as I have done now, close to the machine. Take a measurement from the left bucket tip using a rover. From what you get in a rover, you will enter here into the east coordinate. And once you have done that, you can press collect and the machine will collect the corresponding value. After you have done that, you will extend the boom out as far as it goes in the same direction, not turning the machine, put the bucket on the ground and repeat the process. Measure with a rover from the left bucket tip, enter the value here, collect from the machine, and once you have those two measurements, you can click calibrate. Once you have done that, the machine will show you the correction value. Once you click next, you will go into the easting coordinate calibrate, and the precision here will have been changed because the, the heading calibrate will change it. So you will have to turn the machine slightly in order to go make it go back to zero. And then you repeat the process as described before. F measure one left tip measurement from close the machine, one further away from the machine, entering the values and collecting as you go. And then once you are done with that, you click calibrate and this will calibrate the easting coordinate even further, making it more precise. Once you have done that, you click next, and now you will calibrate the northing coordinate. You will stay in the north direction with the machine extended. You will be in this position already, so you can use the same coordinate you have already measured in with the rover from the left bucket tip but now entering the northern coordinate. Then you press collect and turn the machine 180 degrees around. The precision measurement will guide you on how to do this. Once you turn, it will tell you when you have hit your mark. 
then you will use left pocket tip to measure with the rover and the measurement you got from the second measurement you will enter into this north coordinate click collect and once you have done that you will click calibrate and then you can click complete once you are done with the calibration process next you want to import your projects but to import projects you can use this menu here you can either create a local plane create a slope create a ditch which you can do all in the machine if you have your own project created you will use the file import menu where you can uh, select your uh, project from the file system in the main screen you can see three views one is the front view one is the side view and one is the top view here we have a small example model i can choose to select the windows in different configuration by switching them around the view changes accordingly if i put it down it changes and if i turn the tilt it also changes the tilt so i can match it with the slope on the bottom we have offset values which i can set this is offset from my design which is either a plane or in my case a model so I can enter a value here it, let's say I want it to be half a meter offset here and then I click save so everything changes here according to this offset here I can see the slope value which is in the model at this point where my bucket is currently this one here is a design height at the bucket tip design height in local coordinate values and this this is left and right and these two are my bucket height in local coordinate values also left and right i can set my design point at the moment it is left bucket tip but i can choose it to be the middle of the bucket or the right bucket tip